Hello everybody, it's I, Brian Sophie, and today I'm here to review the Oscar bus film Foxcatcher, directed by Ben Miller and starring Steve Carell, Chan Tam, and Mark Ruffalo. This is the true story of the tragic relationship between wrestler Mark Schultz and billionaire John Dupont. Now, Mark Schultz won a gold medal in the year 1984 because he is, like I said, he was a wrestler. And this millionaire, John Dupont, played by Steve Carell, calls in Schultz, played by Chan Tatum, and wants to help him train to win another gold medal. And Mark's brother, Dave, played by Mark Ruffalo, doesn't know how to feel about this. And not all of them get along, and we have our movie, basically. This movie has had a lot of Oscar buzz going around the performances, mainly. Because Steve Carell is doing the drama film, he looks very different, and... These are two actors, Chan Tam and Mark Ruffalo, doing stuff. And, and it's directed by Ben and Miller, who directed Capote and Moneyball. I have not seen Capote, but I love Moneyball. I thought Moneyball was a fantastic film with great performances by Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill. How's this movie? This movie was really good. I don't think it was an incredible movie, but I totally understand the praise that this film has been getting. First of all, let's get out of the way and talk about the actors. Steve Carell was incredible in the movie. This is definitely his best performance ever. He's definitely Oscar-worthy. He's not just creepy. He's disturbing, he's haunting, and he's disgusting. This guy is, oh my god, this guy is fucking creepy as hell. Wow. Steve Carell did a fantastic job portraying DuPont, and he is definitely Oscar worthy, and I honestly hope he gets nominated. He deserves a nomination. But my favorite performance in the movie is actually Chan Tatum. I thought Chan Tatum was fantastic in the movie. I think it's terrible that he's being overlooked. Like, Steve Carell and Mark Ruffalo are getting all the praise, but Chan Tatum is... He deserves a nomination as well. Does he deserve to win? No. But does he deserve a nomination? Yes. Okay, he's very quiet. He's very toned down. When he has his outbursts, it's incredible. It's incredible acting. And this is definitely Chan Tam's best performance ever. And I really want him to get some award recognition. I know he's not going to get nominated for this movie, but he must do some movie in the future where he could potentially get an Oscar nomination because this movie showed his acting chops and it's out of this world, his performance. And I gotta give credit to Mark Ruffalo who was also fantastic in the movie. He's going to get nominated for the Oscar. He is. Mark Ruffalo is a great actor. I've always liked Mark Ruffalo. Not only does he play Chan Tam's brother in the movie, but he also plays like a father figure to him. And... That's the thing with John Dupont is that he's trying to also be a fire figure to Mark Schultz. And it's amazing. I think all three of these actors are completely Oscar worthy. The performances in this movie are out of this world. I thought the script was written very, very well. I think it was written by the guys who wrote Capote. Uh, look, like I said, I have not seen Capote. I do want to see it as soon as I can. Ben and Miller's direction was pretty solid. The film is beautifully shot. It's a beautiful looking movie. It's very quiet, the film. Toned down, and when the music happens, like the original score, it's very tense. You don't know what's going to happen. Even if you know the story of what happens, it's intense and it's crazy and it's handled very, very well. I do have problems with the movie. Unfortunately, well, for one thing, the movie is very slowly paced. And slow-paced movies are sometimes good. This is a good movie. It's just that at the same time, you're like, does this scene really have to be in it? But at the same time, you realize maybe this scene was important. And it's definitely faster than Interstellar. At times, the movie was lacking emotion, which isn't exactly the great thing because Chan Tam is the heart and soul of this movie, and you feel for his character. You look into his eyes, and you feel something for him. You really do. You don't feel shit for John Dupont once you go under his skin and you see what kind of a man he is. He is just eh, eh, disgusting. Truly disgusting. And I think I just spit on my camera, so lovely day I'm having today. <laughs> Overall, those are really my only flaws with the movie. I thought the movie was really, really solid. It's a really good movie, and if you guys really want to see the movies that could potentially get, like, best picture and best actor and director and sworn actor and all that stuff, this is a movie that you should definitely see. If you're one of those people who tries to see all the Oscar-nominated films, this film is definitely going to get a lot of Oscar nominations. I think it's going to get picture. Mark Ruffalo will get best supporting actor. Steve Carell should get Best Actor, as should Chan Tam. I know Chan Tam won't be nominated. Steve Carell could be nominated, but now all of a sudden, he's kind of on the bottom, which I don't understand. Look, Michael Keaton's going to be nominated. Well-deserving. Eddie Raymond's going to be nominated. Very well-deserving. I have not seen Imitation Game yet, but I know Benedict Cumberbatch is very well-deserving. Jake Gyllenhaal, absolutely well-deserving. Steve Carell, yes. But then there's David O. Yellow. I said this in my top 10 best of the year video. I'm sure David O. Yellow does good as Martin Luther King Jr. But it's not a movie that a lot of people have seen. So it's not fair that he should get nominated. I feel like Steve Carell 
I don't know if Steve Carell is ever going to have another opportunity like this, so I think it's best that he gets the nomination. Besides, David Oyelowo didn't even get a SAG nomination, so why should he get an Oscar nomination? Honestly, this is a different video. When I do my live reactions to the Oscar nominations, and if David Oyelowo gets nominated, not Steve Carell, then you'll see how pissed off I am. But besides that, I like this movie. I definitely recommended it to film lovers and people who really, really like Ben and Miller films. And if you guys are a fan of these actors, you should probably see this movie. So I'm giving this film a B plus. I thought it was a really good movie. Just not one of my favorite movies of the year, but it's still a damn good movie. So guys, if you've seen Foxcatcher, please tell me what you thought of it down below. What's your favorite performance in this movie? And do you think Chan Tam deserves an Oscar nomination? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.